this experience for all of us um, enables us to uh, have a broader view on the key success factors and hints and tips of a successful solar decathlon event. So it's really valuable for all of us. So we're having solar decathlon Middle East uh, next year in November. Okay. And we're part of the uh, competition team, or like the organizers mm -hmm. of the competition. So we're here to learn. There's awareness about the importance of sustainability. Especially in the Middle East, uh, when there's not much awareness about the people. And then it's nice to gather uh, this amazing group of teams, uh, you know, multidisciplinary uh, team members come together to work on such a project. It's nice to see different people get to know each other and work with each other on such an amazing project. Solar Decathlon is a great uh, uh, tool, education uh, uh, tool or platform for architecture engineering. And beyond that uh, education, we actually uh, really is an opportunity to engage uh, the academia, industry, and also the, the, the general public. The, for these university students, the fair competition is very important. So they can work, they can uh, make a performance, they can feel better and they can make a, a nice house. And this is our aim and this is the, one of the biggest challenge for me. The whole organizing part. <laughs> yeah. there, there are lots of teams and you need to control. Uh, errors can happen at any time. You need to fix that as soon as possible so that you make sure that the competition is fair to everyone. The number of visitors, okay. I should tell you, <laughs> it's crucial <Yeah. laughs> as far as our success is concerned. So. Transportation uh, and moving of uh, building components, the space is rather limited, so it's going to be challenging to... We're asking the team to design for the Middle East, so okay. are, the challenges are mainly uh, the hot weather, temperature, humidity, dust, so it's, you know, the, the, the houses will be different, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, that, the atmosphere is uh, pretty much the same, I guess. I'm architect and also a mechanical engineer, so I'm a little bit of computer science. So, it's a blend of this uh, uh, knowledge. So, from my perspective, it's a great, great opportunity for education. They're willing to do it for free, volunteer, because they learn from the teams. They also give, give them a background, uh, give the backbone of in the future the human resources.